Did you know that anemia is known to affect over 1.6 billion people worldwide? And according to the World Health Organization, around 40% of pregnant women and 42% of children under the age of 5 are anemic. What's even more unfortunate is that the vast majority of anemic individuals don't even know that they are anemic, not realizing the fact that sometimes it can lead to serious outcomes. So in this video, we'll let you know about the silent symptoms of anemia you shouldn't ignore. Without further delay, let's begin. Number 1. Paleness of the skin Being the visible part of our body, our skin has a tendency to talk to us in the form of signals about whether it is healthy or something wrong is going on in our bodies. Healthy skin is a sign that it is getting enough nutrients and oxygen via the blood capillaries that lie beneath the skin, giving it a pinkish shade and a healthy complexion. On the other hand, if your skin is losing its glow and starts looking pale, it could mean that your skin cells are not getting enough blood or oxygen, and this could be due to anemia. Other than the skin, symptoms of anemia can also show up in the gums, lips, lower eyelids, and nails. So if you have noticed something like that recently, you should not ignore it, for it could be one of the silent symptoms of anemia. Before we proceed, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming our patron. Number 2. Pica Syndrome A critical deficiency of iron in the body can also cause severe cravings for certain non-nutritional food items, such as ice or baking soda. Not only this, but some people can also develop cravings for non-food items, such as dirt, paper, chalk, and pottery. This condition is known as Pica Syndrome. Children and pregnant women are more likely to develop this disorder, in addition to other symptoms of anemia. Therefore, if you are having similar cravings, you should know that it could be a silent symptom of anemia that you shouldn't ignore. Number 3. Frequent Tiredness and Fatigue If you are feeling weary, dull, lazy, or tired quite often, then it could also mean that your muscles aren't getting enough oxygen or energy they need to stay active. Hemoglobin, which is an essential protein in red blood cells, is responsible for transporting oxygen throughout your body. A critical deficiency of iron due to iron deficiency anemia or other similar disorders can severely hamper its production, resulting in fewer blood cells or low levels of oxygen in the body. Ultimately, this can result in frequent tiredness and fatigue. Therefore, if you are feeling something like that, you should consider the possibility that it could be due to anemia. Number 4. Shortness of breath Another possible outcome of low hemoglobin or anemia is shortness of breath. Low hemoglobin levels in the blood are most likely to result in lower oxygen levels. In order to keep up with the oxygen levels that our body needs, the lungs will naturally try to breathe in oxygen more quickly than usual, resulting in a higher rate of breathing or shortness of breath. Number 5. Dizziness and Headache When you are in good health, your organs, including your brain, receive an adequate supply of oxygen. Without enough hemoglobin in the blood, the brain may not be able to receive the required amount of oxygen. This in turn can cause a variety of symptoms, including headaches and dizziness. And if oxygen levels in the brain get critically low, it can even result in severe symptoms, such as seizures, fainting, brain damage, and other neurological disorders. Additionally, extremely low levels of hemoglobin can lead to fewer blood cells, resulting in blood thinness and low blood pressure. Ignoring this for too long can even result in fatal consequences. So that makes it critically important to not go easy on such signs, since they could be silent symptoms of anemia. Number 6. Chest pain and irregular heartbeats Chest pain or palpitations could occur for a number of reasons, so they should never be taken lightly. It's possible that a deficiency of oxygen in the blood can cause a racing heartbeat or palpitations, along with a sense of chest pain. Low hemoglobin levels in the blood may not only cause rapid breathing, but also cause the heart to pump faster than usual in an attempt to transport oxygen to all parts of the body. Due to this, the heart has to work much harder, putting additional strain on the heart. Ultimately, that can result in chest pain, palpitations, and irregular heartbeats. The higher severity of this condition 
may even cause strokes and heart failure. So you should never ignore these symptoms and seek immediate medical attention if this happens. Number 7. Tingling in hands and feet. If you have anemia, poor blood circulation, or an inadequate supply of oxygen to your hands and feet, this can result in a tingling sensation. It can also make you feel cold in your hands and feet, even in a warm environment. A critical deficiency of iron, such as in iron deficiency anemia, can also cause muscle cramping, restless leg syndrome, weakness, and exhaustion, all of which can further lead to insomnia. So if you are having some or all of these symptoms frequently, without any reasonable explanation, you should know that it could be one of the silent symptoms of anemia that you shouldn't ignore. Number 8. Frequent Infections Iron also plays an important role in maintaining a healthy immune system. Having lower levels of this essential mineral can make you more vulnerable to catching many infections and illnesses. This can happen in two ways. First, it can hamper the function of the spleen, the organ that serves as the home to the defenders of our body, the white blood cells. A poor function of the spleen can lead to fewer white blood cells, resulting in poor immunity. Second, a critical iron deficiency in the blood also has a bad impact on our lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are the residing places for white blood cells and filter out the blood from many toxic substances that cause infections. An inadequate supply of red blood cells to lymph nodes shall increase the chances of getting affected by infections. As a result of these conditions, your body tends to be more vulnerable to getting affected by illnesses. Therefore, getting sick quite frequently and without any obvious reasons could be a symptom of anemia. What should you do if you have anemia? If you have these symptoms, you should consult your doctor for a proper diagnosis. Your doctor will inquire about your lifestyle, as well as your past medical history. If it is not clear what caused the anemia, they may perform certain tests to determine what factors might be contributing to the symptoms. The doctors will often request a complete blood count test. This will determine whether or not the number of red blood cells that you have is within the typical range. Anemia caused by a lack of iron is by far the most frequent form of this condition. The blood test will also look for other forms, such as vitamin B12 and folate deficiency. If you are suffering from iron deficiency anemia, you should consider doing two things. First, you should add iron supplements to your daily diet. Second, you need to change your daily diet to include more iron-rich foods. Foods that you should look for are green leafy vegetables, red meat, dried fruits, and pulses. Also, there are some foods that you should avoid at all costs, as these foods can hinder the absorption of iron in your body. These include tea, coffee, milk and dairy products, brown rice, and peanuts. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.